Hello children, welcome to Online Edu Class of Science. Today we will continue Chapter 11, Transportation in Animals and Plants. So children, in previous class we have discussed about blood and blood vessels. Today we will see the heart and its functioning. Heart the heart is a fist sized muscular organ which pumps blood to all the parts of our body through the blood vessels. The heart is located between the lungs in the chest cavity with its lower tip slightly treated towards the left. The heart is enclosed in a double layered membrane sac called pericardium. The heart has four compartments called chambers. The upper two chambers of the heart are called atria singular atrium or auricles and the two lower chambers of the heart are called ventricles. The left side of the heart has oxygen rich blood also called as oxygenated blood whereas the right side of the heart has carbon dioxide rich blood also called deoxygenated blood. The left side of the heart is completely separated from its right side by a means of a partition wall called septum which prevents the mixing of oxygenated blood with the deoxygenated blood. A tricuspid valve is present between right atrium and right ventricle which allows blood to flow from right atrium to right ventricle. A bicuspid valve is present between left atrium and left ventricle which allows blood flow from left atrium to left ventricle. Now let's see blood circulation in human body. The blood is circulated in the human body by the regular contractions and relaxations of the heart. Children, let us understand the circulation of the blood with the help of this schematic diagram. Step 1. When blood passes through the capillaries of the lungs, then oxygen from air enters the blood. The blood is now called as oxygenated blood. Step 2. The pulmonary vein brings oxygenated blood from the lungs into the left atrium of the heart. When the left atrium contracts, the oxygenated blood is pushed into the left ventricle. Step 3. When the left ventricle contracts, it pumps oxygenated blood into the main artery called iota. The iota branches into many arteries which supply oxygenated blood to all the organs of the body except the lungs. Step 4. When oxygenated blood from the arteries passes through the capillaries, of the body organs then it gives food and oxygen to the body cells. At the same time carbon dioxide produced as a waste product in the body cells during respiration enters the blood through capillaries. Now step 5. The deoxygenated blood rich in carbon dioxide collected from the body organs enters the right atrium. In step 6, when the right atrium contracts, the deoxygenated blood is pushed into the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, the deoxygenated blood is pumped into the lungs through the pulmonary artery, which is our step 7. Then in the lungs, the deoxygenated blood gives out carbon dioxide and absorbs fresh oxygen from the air being breathed in. So, the blood becomes oxygenated again, which is the final step. So, in this way, the whole process of blood circulation occurs in human body. Next is heartbeat and pulse. The walls of the chambers of the heart are made up of muscles. These muscles contract and relax rhythmically. Thus, one complete rhythmic contraction of the heart which is also called a systole followed by its relaxation or diastole is called a heartbeat. The average heartbeat of an adult person while resting is 72 to 80 times per minute. This is called the heart rate. But when we do any physical activity like running and cycling, our heartbeat becomes faster.
children do you know why this is because at such times the body cells need more oxygen to release more energy through respiration so to supply more oxygen the blood flows faster children if we place our hand on the left side of our chest we can feel our heart beat the doctor feels our heart beats with the help of an instrument called a stethoscope the stethoscope amplifies makes louder the sound of heartbeat so that the doctor can hear them clearly a stethoscope consists of three parts a chest piece that carries a sensitive diaphragm at the bottom two ear pieces and a rubber tube which joins the chest piece to ear pieces the a stethoscope helps the doctor to find out if our heart is functioning normally or not children when we place the middle and index finger of our right hand on the inner side of our left wrist we feel some throbbing movements why do you think there is throbbing this throbbing sensation is due to flow of blood under pressure in our arteries and it is called as a pulse the number of beats per minute is called the pulse rate for a normal healthy person it is between 70 to 80 beats per minute but whenever we do any physical activity like cycling or running the pulse rate increases so children here we come to the end of today's topic go through it carefully and understand it properly thank you